Thoughts on Vora? Oh, I think Vora is actually like one of the best designed flanks in the game from a fun perspective. She's another jack. She's another jack of all trades like Damba. But the thing is, she's also not like super great right now because she gets a hundred and ten percent outclassed by Seven. Seven is just a better Vora. Yeah, Vora has better self-sustain and has the obliterate and the cripple. But Seven has so much mobility that he actually ends up getting more survivability than Vora, while also having better range than Vora and better burst than Vora. So he's just, he's completely better. If they put Double Tendril into base kit and gave her another talent in place of Double Tendril, I think that would be a great step towards making her, like, really just in the sweet spot of being, like, a really solid, nice flank. I definitely think she's fun. I think she's really quite fun. I'm actually going to ban Bika here instead of... Yeah, I'll take the risk. I'll ban Bika here instead of Seven. If they pick seven and we lose because of it, I'm going to cry. <laughs> yeah, more grapple range base to, to uh, let her complete with, compete with seven as well. That would be nice. Can I, I carry on Khan? You think it's all right if I heal? Or... Sounds good to me. I'm debating oh. playing Khan. But I'm not entirely sure. Screw it. Let's have a bit of diversity here. A bit of variety. We'll play some Khan. Let's go. What do you say? Eevee is A tier or S tier character? Oh, definitely not S. <laughs> uh, the thing is, if you're good at Eevee, then I'd put her probably around A. But if you're not good at Eevee, then oh, she's awful. She's one of those characters who you have to put a lot of time and investment into to actually get good with her. And then once you're good at her, she's very rewarding, but you, she can still be outdone by other flanks. Namely Vatu, Seven, um, Androxus before... Curse Revolver got removed, also was really outperforming Eevee. He just objectively wins that duel. I think he's still formidable in a direct one-on-one -on -one head-on situation with Eevee. Uh, and Maeve also is pretty competitive against Eevee. She's solid, though. Like, if you're good at her, she's solid. A lot of effort goes into her, though. I think for tier lists, you usually want to assume the player is good. Yeah. When it came to my tier list, I had the nuance of... I had a separate tier for characters that are actually pretty darn good, but only if you're actually, like, really skillful with them. Because I think there is that differential. Hold on, let me... Uh, okay, we need to ban an off-tank, probably. Let's get rid of Azan. Sure. But back to what I was saying. Like, there are some characters who are really strong and have kind of a low to mid skill floor. Like Androxus. Uh, you know, low to mid skill floor, very high skill ceiling, but generally solid, right? Um, or, you know, Cassie or Bomb King. So those would just be solid A tier or S tier through and through. But then you have, like, Atlas, who is insanely good, but there's only, like, five people who can play him to that level. <laughs> uh, and so it's a bit more situational. And then I also had another tier for characters that are really good, but only in a specific situation. Separate from skill level entirely, just like, oh, Shaolin, really good against flanks and DPS. But if you have, like, you know, freaking two tanks and a Lilith and something like that, like, it's going to be harder to play him. And the sad thing is, some people just look at my tier list and don't ever actually want to pay attention to that nuance. And then they cry when I put Shaolin in C tier, and it's like, no, you completely misunderstand what I did. That's why you gotta actually, like, read the tiers, right? Eh, people. Reading is too hard for some people, though. Oh, right. oh, God, please, no. No, we need a second tank. Khan is not a good solo. This guy's a new player. Ruckus? Okay. I guess I'll have to make that work then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Khan is a good solo if you go firing line. Oh, Earl Meyer. Oh, rest in peace, firing line. That was such a fun talent. They kept Leon's shield and got rid of firing line. Man, Khan. That was a sad day for Khan. Five bucks. I this player goes flux that. gen. I don't even think they have Aerial Assault. I think that's the level 8 unlock. If he's smart, he should go Rocket Barrage here. Jag Falls with a Barrack? That would be super valuable. Furious Thigh is the best. Oh. <laughs> ah, absolutely. Based. Beyond belief. 
Firing Line was a talent that basically, I think it gave Khan crowd control immunity in his battle shout, but also he and everyone who got hit by the battle shout would get a damage amp for the next few seconds. So, you can imagine how strong that was. Okay, here we go. Let's do Storm, Storm shenanigans. And we're going to need a lot of Wrecker. They have no idea what's about to descend upon them. Z. I know well, you know better. <laughs> no funnel help. <out. laughs> it's. It, it, I. I am all for having fun, but that talent's not fun. Five, <laughs> all right. Four, three, <laughs> two, oh God. One. <laughs> Listen, man, we, we don't want to be messing hand. around here, all right? We got we got Khan Ruckus end. on the team. <laughs> okay. All right. Be careful not to get hooked here. Nave half. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Don't like that hook. At least she died. That's great. Yeah. He did go flux, by the way, chat. So, um, whoever bet $5 on that gets $5. <laughs> Congrats. Ooh, oh, there we go. Block that hook. That's good. There we go. Got her. Oh, man. Con damage feels so good. This damage buff really did give him quite the needed boost to his efficacy. Careful not to get hooked, he's got it back. Alright, I got ult, so that's nice. I could totally just ult that Victor right now. I don't know if I want to, though. Oh, hello. Mm, he's got the shield down. Uh-oh, Ruckus. Yep, there you go. I'll look for a down bolt. Alright. Oh my! I got stuck. My, my bad. Oh, I'm poor. Enemy Let's be careful. Kid. No healer. <laughs> Try and help him get out of here. There we go. Shield's breaking now. Oh, she actually got the victor. No way. How did that even work? I have no idea. All right, Betty, ulting out. Nice. Yeet! Yeah, what are you gonna do? Make hey, it back? Man. No, you're not. I'm inside. Oh, she's one. Nice. There you go, Cassie. Got you. This is actually working pretty well. I think we got two good DPS picks here, which is really nice. Saves our uh, lack of a point tank. I thought he was gonna hook that. Oh, he did hook that. Yo, Betty, flying above that. That's amazing. Oh, yep, he's all in. Okay. There's that battle shot for you. And just shield here. I don't know if he has hook. I don't remember. Wasn't looking out for it. That's a good kill on Maeve, though. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna dash over here. I'm gonna try and play around this side of the map. Nice, she gets the Vic. Just gonna walk at this guy. Ah, shield. Ooh, you're one. Come here, come here. There we go, and that's our push. Nice! Alright, going well. For me, replace Vortex Grip. That's an interesting take, but... Not totally unfounded. Reminds me of the people who want Crush for Terminus in base kits, which I also understand. Yes, double tank is the time-tested strategy going back to the days of the beta. Very rarely does one tank work, but if you are going to solo tank, you gotta do it with someone Capture like Anara. Khan's not really a great solo tank, and Ruckus is one of the worst. But Ruckus is a really good off tank, so, you know, that's why you run him with two tank. Five, four, and once you get aerial assault, three, that's going to be such four, a good talent for you. One. 
it's what makes Ruckus, like, really good. Yep, uh, we definitely have a fresh install on the team again. <laughs> My Grandmaster Lobbies, dude! Where are they? Hook down, that's good. Alright, kill him. I can heal you, Cassie, if you peek me. I don't think Cassie needs the point. We're gonna do this real quick. Can't really see. Oh, that was one. I didn't even hit him, man. I was aiming too high. I got stuck on the wall! Okay. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Last one standing wins. No, get back! Bro. I actually can't kill him! Oh, no! Here we go, we're chilling. You're alone in here now, buddy. You're all alone, and you die. There we go. That was not who I wanted to grab. Can't believe I lived that. We definitely cap you, though. I mean, they are crumbling. Look at that Vic. Cassie, I got you. There you go. Right side. Mm hmm. Oh, ah, yeah, she's gone. Oh, hello. We're fine, man. We're totally fine, man. Here's that battle shout. I'm just gonna rush this guy. What's he gonna do? Ult me? Ah, he ulted me! <laughs> I saw that coming. That was so obvious. Ha! Ah, heal through the wall. Let's go. Alright, let's burn this shield here. And... There we go. Kill that. Fearing into the Betty ult, that's awesome. There we go, let's get you. I think I can just murder Barry Cat. There we go. The nice thing is, I'm playing Khan against two of the tanks with the biggest and easiest heads to hit. Makes my job a lot easier. Keep talking while you can. And Makoa doesn't even get to touch. There we go, that's the 4 round. Nice. To this realm's true fate. Is Khan bigger than Atlas? I think he's bigger, yeah. Atlas has a way bigger shield, though. <laughs> you run the, uh, the big wall talent? Ooh. Insane. Rock monkey, rock monkey barely gets good games, and he streams later. Yeah, matchmaking is just... It's rough in this game, because... Yeah, there's just not enough players in the actual ranked pool. Like, you have to keep in mind, oh yeah, we have 10,000 players on Steam on any given day. That's really good, right? But then you have to factor in. Okay, that's spread across... What, like four major regions? Wait, we have, e we have EU, North America, Latin America. I've heard Latin America North is dead, but you still have Latin America South. And then the rest of the people in Asia. And so already, like, you're dividing that up pretty substantially. And then you're dividing that even further by looking for the ranked pool, which is definitely a smaller pool than the casual pool. Most players are casual. And then you have to subdivide that even further if you're a master or a diamond or a grandmaster, because how many people playing ranked at any given time are actually in that upper echelon of players? Not a lot. And so that's why most of the games here you see, we have like plats and diamonds on the team. Uh, or excuse me, plats and golds on the team. Or, God forbid, fresh installs, silvers, etc. It's because there's not enough players. And so we wait 10 minutes, and then eventually the matchmaking pool gets expanded to allow us to have more players in, and then we get bad matchmaking. Like, I actually think the matchmaking algorithm is probably pretty good. It's just that... The player base is just not there. <laughs> like, like I've said in the past, you can have the best matchmaking algorithm in the world, but if you only have a hundred players in a given queue, it's still going to be very awful matchmaking. You just, you're not going to get fair matches that way. Okay.